everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you how to freaking score these two basketballs. Yep. Uh, so, basically, I see lots of people score this first basketball. They think they're fucking hard, and, like, they're all awesome. Oh, that view. And, yeah, it's, it's not that hard. I've seen plenty of people do it. Uh, I've done it plenty of times myself, and there's millions of tutorials on how to do it. But, what I haven't seen is somebody score this beastly monstrosity because you can't just simply get it into the hoop with one swipe it has to bounce off the wall but in case you're a bit uh, silly or you're misinformed I will show you how to do the first one right now so basically you want to line it up like this and um, you can do this with mostly everybody um, except for Reinhardt because his ha he doesn't have a melee basically he has his hammer which swings in the arc so it just hits to the side or like behind him his swinging arc is ridiculous and um, so what you do for tanks is you have to be crouching when you do this and for Torbjorn you're not gonna be able to see it you're gonna have to line it up the same but basically I line it up with the little notch where the two of them meet and then I just melee it and it goes in and this is the same for every map you don't need to do it for like differently for every other map so I saw into other tutorials like on the old tutorials back all the way during summer it was like you line it up with the very bottom of the net but I find better is where you line it up with this part where my crosshair is where those two little curves meet together and then you usually get it 100% of the time now for the second basketball, which is horrendously hard to do. Well, not really. It's I found it pretty consistent. I'll show you at the end of this video me doing it with many different characters. It's uh, it's all different. You can do it with all DPSs, and we can do it with Torbjorn, except you have to position it a bit differently. It's it's a bit iffy, but um, you can't do it with tanks because you're too fat to fit into this little gap here. But right now I'm going to show you how to do it on. This is Nepal. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it on Nepal. So you just crouch down, you have to line it up with the basket again, you stand up, and what I'm advising you to do is you have to take the middle of your crosshair, line it up with the edge of the shadow of the rim of the basket, I know that's a tongue twister, you take that, you put it there, and you just move your mouse along the x-axis. So that's where you want to position your x-axis from. And then... Right there, I'm going to draw a line for you, you just fucking line it up with that shine right there, and you should hit it, and it should go in just like that. It's quite consistent when you do it, uh, it obviously does take practice, this is not my first time trying, or second time, this is about my 53rd time trying, but that's because there was no tutorials on the internet, well, there might, there, a few might arise after this one, but I couldn't find it, so I had to just practice it by myself and just keep doing it until I figured it out. But with practice, you'll eventually get it. So that's how you get it on Nepal. I'm going to show you how to do it on Elios and uh, Lijiang Tower. Because each of them have different lighting when it comes to this part right here. Since um, I do to line it up with the shine off the metal, I line it up with with that on the Y axis. And make sure this panel right here isn't broken off like that. Because as you can see, it goes in a bit deeper and then the hitbox for that, it hits off that basically. And it doesn't bounce the same, it'll like hit, go short. Okay, so this is how you do it for Lijiang Tower. So basically, you want to line it up with the shadow of the rim right there, like last time. And this time, you want to line it up with that little like shadow reflection up at the top. You see, I'll draw a picture for you there. And you line it up with that on the y axis, and then you just melee it. And it should go in. Yeah, it went in. Okay, so you basically want to do for Elios is um, similar to. Lijiang Tower and Nepal is you line it up with the hoop again as I said and then for the x-axis that's exact same same as the other two you line up your x-axis tiny bit lower than um, the fucking the shadow tip of the rim and um, then what you do is what I like to do here is I like to line it up just a slight bit left of the start of the shine there I'll draw a line for you as you can see and then you just melee it and it should go in anyway I'm gonna leave you with a couple of clips of me doing it with different DPS's just so you guys can see that it is possible to do with every DPS 
uh, except for tanks and Torbjorn is a bit hard to do it with. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave you with uh, a couple of clips of me doing with all sorts of different characters, just to prove a point that it does work most of the time. It will work 100% of the time if you position it perfectly every single time, but um, obviously you won't be able to do that 100% of the time, so practice makes perfect, and that's what you're going to have to do to perfect this thing. Um, so, I'll, as I said, I'm going to leave you with some of the clips. Just so I can just prove to you that it does work um, with all these different other characters. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like uh, and a comment saying why you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for further for other videos for me to do, leave them in the comments below as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing standing around. Just subscribe to me now. Uh, or if you like more content, of course, to see more content like this. Uh, so what else do I need to say? Oh yeah, see ya!